muted. I'm muted. Oh man, can you hear me now? That's all right. I was just talking about these. No, so, yeah, there we go. Okay. So I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I just was coming to show you all the cool stuff I got today. So these are a couple things my mom brought me. She had been thrifting recently. She found these. They were from 1978. They're on metal wall decor. Aren't those neat? I'm so, so going to hang those in my kitchen. <laughs> I think these are rad. So she got those for me. And then she found me a duck towel. <laughs> One of those, you know, those, I'm not going to use it. I'm, I'm going to, you know, use it, but I'm not going to use it. I thought she just knew I'd like it because I had the, the ducks on it. And I thought, oh, I will come up with something super cool to do with that. So those were gifts from my mom. And so I'm going to set those there. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, okay. Clack. Yes. Okay. So now I'll start with, okay. So my challenge, if you saw, I did a short about needing that bookshelf over there in the corner so that I have a place to put all of my new scrapbooky stuff. And so instead of finding a hiding place for that yarn that I'll forget about, I thought, let me work through it. So I've already started. <clears throat> this is the rug that I'm working on currently. It's pretty. I fell asleep crocheting. So there's a couple boo-boos in it, but my mom says she doesn't care. She'll take it anyway. Don't frog it. So I'm not going to frog it. I'm going to leave it and then I'll make this one for my mom. But um, I think it's looking very pretty. So I like that color. And I have four skeins of this. So depending on what size I go, it looks like I can make, you know, one, you know, to four rugs if I want. So it's pretty quick pattern. So I have been doing that. And I've also made two journals with the pages. I haven't done anything else to them. I was just practicing making that spine again, like I did on my other books, which I really liked. And these were those note cards that I got from Hobby Lobby the other day. So I did the, the accordion and put together the pages and they look really nice. This one's pretty straight. I have a couple spots that are, I'm still working on. But then on this one, my spine went wonky somewhere. And so this whole thing is kind of a hot mess. But I I think you can see it. I think though once I cover it and I cover the spine with the fabric, you're not even going to notice that. So but I did this one kind of for boo. So I used another pad of paper and just made pages and then put little journaling spots and tucks and little pockets and things for her to explore. Uh, but I think they are they E they're very easy for me to make. So I've just been practicing doing that. So I have two of those that I've made. I did go thrifting. <laughs> okay. So um, I'll start with the dollar store because I did three places. We did the dollar store, we did the thrift store, and we did this place. We've got like a salvage kind of place. <clears throat> so that's a thrift. So from the dollar store, here's what I got. Oops. Um, my mom got me these, so I'm going to be eating those. Okay. So I found these two little boxes, which I thought they stacked and they were very pretty. I thought these would be great for some of the, I'm trying to find some organization for say the ephemeras or the bows or whatever I'm making to put into my books. Because as you can see, my counter <laughs> starting to become a disaster. So I thought those were kind of pretty um, for exactly that. Whatever kind, maybe those little wooden pieces. I've got so many of those and they fall all the time. And this would be a good place for this. I got two of those. Speaking of wood pieces, <laughs> oh, I got some little, little wood things, and then they had new washi tapes. So I got one of all the designs I thought were pretty. <clears throat> so now I have, you know, I do have, um, you know, a handful. I probably is double this because one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I probably have 12 now because I think the last time I got six rolls. 
So I thought that was kind of cool. So there's that. So again, I, I a box for the washi tape. That'd be a good idea. And um, and then I found this fabric. Oh, Pam, check this fabric out. Um, I'm going to open it up because I'm going to take the stupid sticker off of it anyway. Oh, you. There we go. All right. I don't know why I didn't do that to start with. Oh, my goodness. I thought this was super cool. And I was thinking it would be neat as, you know, a fabric cover for Boo something. You know, I make her, her, her little things. Look how pretty that is. I love the colors. And even if you could even take like paint markers or something and paint it in. I didn't know. I thought that was kind of cute. You know, a pretty pattern. I liked the colors. So I got that little fat quarter. And then they had these ribbons. I've never seen these before. I don't typically buy ribbon, um, you know, from there because I don't like, you know, I liked this one. That I thought that would be cool for the fall. Kind of orange polka dots. But these were neat. They're like a almost like a faded or denim kind of look to them. And I thought those were really pretty and would look neat in journals. So I picked up those. And then the other stuff, I've got a couple little candy things I got for Easter basket. And then I, I've seen other people getting these. So I got the little chicks and the little carrots. And I thought those were kind of fun for crafts for Easter. So there's that from this bag. <clears throat> okay. I've been hanging out with my mom. She came and stayed the night. She was going to stay for a couple days and leave on Wednesdays. Make that dots into pumpkins. Oh, Stacy, what a neat idea. Oh, I love that idea. I'm so going to do that. That will be super cute. Okay. This bag is full of just stickers. But my mom was staying anyway. And my, my wee one, my mom had redone her room she has up there. They have, you know, a house in the, in the mountains. And so she kind of has all, you know, her own. She's an only child. Yeah. Well, she's not. But all the rest of them are grown and adults. So, um, and, um, but, so she has her own room. And my mom had kind of redone it and fixed it up and made it, you know, a couple things that, that Boo was, you know, didn't, couldn't play at one table because the way it was, it was too high or too low. I can't remember. Anyway, so then that was it. She just wanted to go back with grandma. And so our, our time together got cut short, but we, we went and did this. Okay. So I did find some cool stickers. I don't buy a whole lot. I just don't usually buy this kind of stuff unless I think they're rad. And this time I think they had some pretty cool stuff. Here is the little bunnies. I knew there was another pack. How cute are those? And you could just cut those off. I figured this lasts me forever. And I don't have any hot pink rickrack, so that's kind of rad. Okay. So they had these these stickers. Let me see. They kind of reminded me of like maybe stained glass in a way. I thought those were very pretty. And they had birds. Look at the birds. Those are so neat. So they, you know, they look like a, you know, and then they had these little square things I thought were cool. And again, I'm thinking of the stuff I have at home. And I was like, those would look neat. The color wise. Mm. And then there was fruit like that. You make me want, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> And well, had you seen these yet? I hadn't seen these. Not that, I, you know, I go often, but they weren't there the last time. I love the planets. That was actually the first ones I saw. And I thought, oh my gosh, I want those planets. So I got all of those. I liked these little houses and the, and the, this stuff. I mean, the whole things, I don't know what I do. I guess family, I don't really like things that have words. It's not kind of my thing, but I liked the rest of them. I thought the stickers were pretty neat. And then I know I say I don't like words and then here I'm pulling out words, but these I got like for the little cards and stuff. How do you make a little card? Maybe if you did a tag, I guess you could put family on it. It just seems like family would be something that you would put if you're making a, like a page about your family. I don't know. But these were kind of neat for Boo. 
And you see, oh, look how cool they look on camera. And then these, again, were some of more of those, um, you know, hashtag rebel. Well, that's just kind of a, you know, these were kind of skateboardy. This just reminded me of kind of my rebel, you know. If it said whatever, that would be rad. Okay. But it doesn't. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, here was another pack that's the stained glass. I think there was two other packs I didn't like. So I didn't buy those, but these are really pretty. Okay. Then I got some rub offs because I thought these are pretty and I'd never seen these there before either. Let me see. There's a couple more I thought. No, that was it at the rub offs. Okay. So I got balloons, leaves, and butterflies. Um, the tr transfers. Um, so I thought those could kind of go with a lot of different things. So those were good. And then I got some butterflies in different colors. I thought those were kind of pretty. Boo could use those. And, oh, here's the other rub off transfer. Those I thought looked like they matched one of the cards I'd gotten. Oh, here's the other one. And then I got the little cacti. I think those are kind of cute. Okay, what'd you say? Been to the Dollar Tree for quite a while, see? And it might be time to go. Now they had these. Now, and I did pick up a few of these. I got these for Boo's little journal and stickers. They're LOL stickers, but I thought I could put some in her page there. Okay. Um, look at their sequin sheets. So it's not very big, but it would fit a journal. <laughs> look at that. So I bought, um, I bought three white and two purple um, because I thought those were going to be so pretty that I might want to make more than one of those kind of a cover for a journal or, or even, you know, a page. I don't know. I feel like these were rad. Hello or hello, whatever, what, whatever crafting, <laughs> as I just said. Were you reading my mind? I was just saying, if it, I wish that word said whatever. Okay. That's, okay, that's the dot. So those are just the stickers. That's what I got from the Dollar Tree. All right, so that one's done. Okay, now the next one. This one comes from the, you know, the bargainy place. This is where I get my cool French fry packet bags. <laughs> and look what I got this time. <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> Look, there's submarine bags. I got this whole stack for 99 cents. And I thought these would be neat to have in for the journals or something. I don't know. I thought those were kind of neat. So I ask, is these awesome enough? Would you know what to do with these bags? Would you want some of these bags? Because I have a big, huge pack um to go along with my french fry packets and my <laughs> they are all stephanie says those are awesome yes stephanie <laughs> yes okay so i'm just gonna these will start going in happy mail and then i got these these are a different type of sandwich bag this place has like you know french um let's see like what would those be salt and pepper packets and ketchup packets and it's one of those kind of you know places okay these are not going to do well in this bag i can already tell so we're just going to take them ah, i don't want to do that though. not yet let's see here it did tear all right these aren't your typical sandwich bags, though. These are like this. More like I've seen people using these. So I thought those were kind of cool. And I got that whole pack for 99 cents. So I got that pack as well. So I thought I could play with those. All right. Then I got a pack of the the little um, different types of paper clips, and then they also had a tiny pack, the tiny paper clips, which I have a hard time finding. So these were kind of cool. These seem so itty bitty, but I got a pack of those. So now I've got several different types. I found these napkins. 
Look on it. They're 49 cents. And they have like a spider web and a snake with the leaves. Look how pretty that is. Let's open them up and see what it looks like. I know you want to see it. And I did my first like napkin-y decoupage the other day and it came out pretty cool. Okay, I should have just cut it this way. Okay, and I haven't got to the thrift store yet, Pam. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Fingers are crossed. It says, oh, look how rad that is. Oh. Look at that. That's very pretty, actually. What do you think? And they had small napkins and the big napkins, the spider. And I just went with the big pack. They were the same price regardless. So instead of the square, I got the rectangles, which I think are just a little bit bigger. There's a moth there. See it? Oh, you want those with the napkins? Those napkins. Okay, so after this stream is over, Put a comment down below if you want me to send you a little happy mail and I'll just fold up a couple of, you know, the, a napkin and some hoagie bags and send those out as soon as I possibly can do that. Okay. And then I found these little tassels for a buck. Mini tassels. They're kind of like a... I don't know, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have to make them myself for a dollar. That's what I thought. Uh, there was a little pack of like cupcake candies for um, when I got that for Boo's Easter basket because it's cheap and basically going to be junk. But like a little magnet Barbie. I think that was kind of cute. It's only 60 cents. Okay. And then some toothpaste. All right. But then I got these. I found these. I bought 20 of them. And this is the idea I had for them. They're like little pencil pouches and they have a little ring. They were at Target at some point. But they were 70 cents each or 69 cents each. And this is what I had in mind. So because I've been getting things like the, you know, stickers, I just did that Timu order. And what do I do with all these things? And I thought, well, what if I added them to a ring? I just used a giant paper clip because I couldn't find a ring. And I can put the different sticker sets or, or uh, you know, cutouts or whatever that words in each little pack. And instead of having all the, I'll just hang it. <laughs> I just hang it. And then I just pull it down like I do my trims because I have my trims on a hook. So that when I'm trying to decide a color or whatever, I have a little sample. I can pull down just that little sample. Anyway, what do you guys think? Is that kind of neat? I'll let you know if it works for me, but I, I think that might work. So I tried that. Okay. All right. Thrifty stuff. Okay. Or if you have my email, you can just email me and say, Hey, I want enough. I might have to go back, back and buy another pack of them. That's what I'm probably going to need to do because they are so cool. They're actually way cooler than I thought. So those would be fun to have for a while. All right, here's my thrift store. So I found um, one of these rulers. Look at that. It's got sevenths, eighths, fifths, halves, twelfths, fourths, tenths. I thought that was kind of clever. So I liked that thing. Okay, that's the package it came in. Um, they gave me a really great deal. Let me, everything I got from the thrift was under $50. I spent less than $50, $49 something, right? And some change. There was a, a little Rick Rack. I got this crochet magazine. Um, not necessarily because I was interested in anything in it, but because if, when I get ready to do my my you know little cro my crochet thing i thought i could use some pages from this i thought that was very pretty i might frame that page for crying out loud i like that it's just stitches that's kind of pretty um so anyway so i picked that up again he all this they were just they have a big box there of old sewing crap and you just have to dig through it so this is what i got i found 
one of these leather elbow patches, a vintage one. I thought that one was kind of cool. And I thought I might try to crochet around it and do something with it like I do my other things. Some sequin. Um, there was some little Santa. I thought that was kind of cute. And I really loved that one. I think that would look rad in Boo's journal. Mm. My hashtag. What's my hashtag? That was a little Pico. I thought this one was kind of pretty. You know, it's kind of boring. But it actually is like a, you know, it's kind of, it feels like it's a quilted. It's a fabric. And that definitely looks kind of vintage. So I kind of liked it. Roses, some, like, what is that? Metallic? Metallic. Have you, I didn't see that often. And not like I look, but a uh, rickrack. I thought that was neat. That'd be super cool at Christmas. There was another Christmas one with some little balls. That's, I actually had that one when I had my business. It was one of the ribbons. There's another Pico with satin and brown. And then there's a gold zigzag. So there's a rickrack in gold. And then that was a little paint purple. Oh, here's another one. There was a zebra print. I thought this one was also kind of pretty. It just has a green going through it. Um, and I liked that hem tape. I also got pink and green. I found another thing of the lace seam binding. This one is like got a silver thread going through it. That one's very pretty. These are just ones I didn't have. Um, well, I think I have gray, but I only have like one pack. And then that, I liked that one, even though it's a new one. These were old, but still, um, I liked that color. Anyway, okay. And then here was some other little, oh, I got, I found two spools, uh, wooden spools in the bottom of the bag. So I got both of those. That's what's going on here. And then I found this elastic. Look how pretty that is. I know you've used this before, Pam. <laughs> I like that sparkly. It was just a little piece. Like I say, I think he threw it all in like marked, you know, three bucks on it or something. And then that was another one. And then I found this. When was the last time you saw that? I just had to get it for that. <laughs> I just want to look at it every now and then and go, oh my God, remember when we used to put this in our cameras? It's a brand new roll of film. Never used. Didn't matter. It was neat to me. <laughs> okay, why did Oh, my, no wonder I'm, my thing, I gotta scroll down. Better than mine, huh? Mine was like a hundred. Hey, Marty, how are you? I went to the eye doctor today and my eyes are still okay. Oh, that's fabulous. Phone number. Okay. These are some little wooden beads, little squares. Those were at the thrift. And then I got this. This was a buck. Look how pretty that is. I just thought the beads were beautiful. Even if I just took it apart, right? For a dollar, that one was really pretty. I thought these would be so pretty as dangles or something. I don't know. I really liked that. The pink and the... It made me think very, you know, antique -y. And then there was a... These are, I guess, like treat sticks. Um, but I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm not going to make cake pops with them. But I, I'm pretty sure these are going to be kind of fun to play with. You know, maybe. I don't know yet. <laughs> so, but they're cool colors. Okay. So there's that. I don't remember. Um, okay. I see an article not long ago. Those cameras and digital cameras are making a comeback. Oh, fabulous. I'm very glad. Isn't that just that packaging? I wish they wouldn't put the stickers on them though. Why couldn't they put it on? You know what I mean? Like, ah. Uh, why did you do that? Look how handsome that guy is. He reminds me of my dad. That's about what my dad looked like, even in the suit coats. And here, you know, and there's me. Mm. 
Look, my dad is so handsome. Okay. All right. So we'll put these things back in here. This back in here. Okay. Now. And I did that. Yes. Okay. Then, okay. So I don't know if you know yet, but I have a thing for vintage games. And I found some today. I get so excited when I go. Again, I hate that they do this. Look what I'm going to have to do. Anyway, this is called Facts in Five, the Game of Knowledge. It's 1967. And it is really, the box is in really good shape. It has a lot of pretty colors. And this is what the cards look like. So wait till you see the cards. I thought that was really neat. And so, a bookshelf game. I guess that would sit on the bookshelf. That's fun. I'm, I'm going to have to look those up. I didn't even know of such a thing as bookshelf games. And maybe one of these days I'll be like a, an expert on vintage board games. And I can like go and, oh, yes. Okay, look, check out these cards are so pretty. <clears throat> so, they have the, get the glare off. And then the other side is really pretty. They're all, you can tell right away that they're from, you know, at least the 70s. And so being in the 60s. And then even the, the font is fabulous. I really liked these cards. So, and I, you know, I don't tend to take apart my board games. So... I, this probably will never end up as a, the dude, I didn't mind doing that one. I saved half the cards and I took half out. So you could still play it with one person, you know, but you can't play it with four people. Um, the little tiles are, you know, a plastic. So those are really nice. Has the little um, West Germany made. I mean, look at the marble for the, it's so pretty. Can you see it? Not nice, and the and look at <laughs> this is the best part about these games. I love finding these. I'll have to get that out. Okay, so they have plenty of playing cards, so I can still play the games. I like to play them, and so you've got look at this. So this one's a whole brand new, and then look what you end up with. Now these I might put in journals. Look at these, where they have been written on. Aren't these beautiful? <laughs> I really like seeing these. I love when you find the, the people write. It's like having a book that somebody, so when the game comes and it's still, look, they've saved them all. Who? I thought I'm the only one that does this. You know, you play Yahtzee. It has every Yahtzee. It's beautiful. Anyway, I thought these were really neat. Um, and just... You know, here we go. Jane, is that Jane, Annette, Doty, Peggy, Carol, even the names scream at least the 60s, 70s. I mean, these are not, these are going to be women names. I love that. How fun is that? There's another one. <laughs> That's fun. So I, it even smells. Oh man. I think this is fun. Look at them all, all of these are people's played i think there's one here's another brand new scorecard and then all of these are played cards aren't those pretty i like that i thought that was super neat so i really like finding that are they not aren't they marty i agree those are super awesome and, I'd, you know, I'd even love to go and write, see, you know, read what they wrote because like, you know, some of these things are going to be specific to time. And so you could play this game again with somebody and their answers will be totally different, you know, having those kinds of things. So I like that too, because it, it really is neat to see how different we think today than we thought before, you know, how society works. So that's neat. All right. And then it's got the, you know, directions and, and the back of the box. I like that too. But I think this is really nice. I got excited. And it was $3.97. Um, but because I, 
come up with a cart full. This is one of those places that'll just kind of bring it all up and go 48 bucks. And you're like, yes. <laughs> okay. So Boo and I found this one. It's not too vintage, but it is older. So let me show you what this game was. Let me see. I think it was 80s. It's what I saw on it. No, it wasn't 90s. 96. It's called Follow Directions. And the cards go like this. So the, the cards are there. And then it, you know, has a little story. You can print your own t-shirt using some fabric crayons and an iron. Draw a colorful picture on some paper using fabric crayons. Now draw a face and blah, 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 blah. And then it says follow the directions. And then just after, and then you had, it's for like school. It'd be a game they'd learn, play in school. And little pieces for little cars. And Boo liked it because she said, Mom, I could come up with a different game with that. So she's already got an idea of, you know, in her head, the games she makes up. I used to do the same thing when I was a kid. So I totally get it. But look, the board is beautiful. And remember when the spinners were still attached? Mm. What does that say? Joni has a card fetish idea. <laughs> <laughs> a light heat gun will peel it off okay my okay uses that film he's a photographer and still he can oh that's neat yeah someone did enjoy that game i thought this was kind of cute so the little cars you know have to go across the board um oh wait it's here um you know, and by, you know, following the directions, uh, you know, it, it seemed cool to me. Comprehensive Games Factory, probably the company name, Hardware Butcher Mini Mall. That one seemed kind of neat. I like that idea there. So that one came home with us. This seems like something that we'll get some fun with. I'm almost done. Are you missing me? No. <laughs> almost ready for bed so oh okay so there's those two and then i found um this one but it was an older one and i don't have this yet i used to but i don't and so i did find it vintage this one is 97 so it's pre-2000 it was only a buck 50 so oh look at that you turd okay and now, oh, and then I found these. Now, these I thought I will totally do stuff with. These are baby milestone cards. So they're like a big planks card. And it just says, today I said mama for the first time. And you write a date on it. And I guess you journal with it. Today I slept through the night for the first time. Anyway, I thought they had kind of cute pictures that if you, you know, if you wanted to mix that together you could, you know, change and alter that stuff. So I thought those were kind of pretty pictures and, um, you know, I'm 12. You, I don't know. I thought the pictures were pretty. So I thought those were kind of fun. That could be something Boo could play with too. She's messing around. Have you ever seen those before? Photo cards to capture your baby's first year. Okay, and then I found this one. This is a French card game. It's not one I've seen before. It's 71, but it's a Parker Brothers. The rules for the, the, the game. Look at the book. It's even really neat. Um, additional score. Cat pads may be obtained from your local dealer or directly from the publisher. Price 10 cents each or three for 25 cents. <laughs> Oh, look, questions on this game will be gladly answered if proper return postage is enclosed. When was the last time you could write a letter and have somebody answer it? The pages in here are nice. It's got kind of a, you know, almost a cloth type cover. So, and the pages have a good, anyway, check out these cards. These are neat. <laughs> so, um, 
pretend that you're driving a car and your goal is to travel a thousand miles. And as a driver, you are subject to certain rules on the road. Namely, you can only go when the light is green and you must stop when the light is red. You must obey speed limit signs. And if you get a flat tire, you must wait for a spare tire. If you run out of gas, you must wait for gasoline. And if you have an accident, you cannot move again until your car is repaired. And this one does not have any already. Well, there's one. So clearly we have one J JC is the only name on the thing there. Mm, that smells too. And then look at how neat the cards are. Spare tire. So it's in French, I'm guessing, right? It's got the the English and the French. I thought that was kind of a neat game. So the right away a fire truck. I thought that was neat. Rep reparations, repairs. <laughs> and then and it's got a nice, you know, dish. This is cool. I really like this thing. Um, discard and draw on there. That's cool. And then there's more of the speed limits, I guess those are. How neat are these cards? Look at the snail. You got to go slow. Uh, those are fantastic. Oh, a rabbit. You get the hair. These are cool. I know. I actually like these cards. I think these are neat. Game with the highest points over 5,000 wins. 1960. So this game is from 1960. Why does this one say 71? Hmm. Okay, and then here was another old one I found. So clearly I just looked out. Somebody had some Parker Brothers Leaky Pipe card game. Again, it has a neat holder. The cards are really cool looking. Waterworks and then their pipes. You must have to fit them. I'm guessing kind of like dominoes maybe. This has been played with. It, it has more of a a played feel to it and it has little wrenches in this little container. <laughs> How stinking cute are those? Hey Penny, how are you? It's a very hard game. Okay, let me go back over here so I can see what you guys are saying. I used to play Millie. Oh, you did. Baby journal with those cards. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> That's a good idea. I used to play, oh, because you know what? You could do that and then that be part of what they they would journal with, right? So if you made it for somebody, I see that awesomeness. Yeah, this is a neat one, isn't it? So almost feels like it, you know, it sat with its lid off. It has a dust on it. Let's see if it's got the directions down here. I see something down here. Yes, there we go winning the game. Yeah. So there you go. You have to, um, put your pipes together. Oh, how fun. Oh, how fun is that? This, this looks very interesting. Yeah. 1972. This one is, these are just neat. Cause you don't, I don't even remember this game in my family. We played games. Uh, going to like Toys R Us and picking out a board game on a Friday night was like a family affair. <laughs> so we were, we were playing a lot of board games. Okay. All right. So I think that's it for my books. I mean, my game. So let me show you my books. So I got this one. <clears throat> All the hardcovers were a dollar, I think. Um, this one was from, um, let's see, 71. And it was England. Um, a concise history of England, even, but the pictures were neat. Um, you know, so it had some really neat image images in it and a history of England. I'm not, you know, English, but still cool. Um, Victorian England, you know, just cool to write a book report about. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I probably will read it just because I think this kind of stuff is cool. Um, but lots of neat pictures in it if I do decide to tear it up. So I went ahead and got it. So I think that one's kind of cool. All right. And then, oh yeah, this is 
Um, I got a few of these. I got very lucky. Um, this was just a, a school book for Boo, spelling words and skills. She's actually spelling, so that's a good one. Oops. This one had a neat cover on it. It's 1969, sorry, 1697 to 1764. It covers. And it came from a library. Can you see that picture there? I am. I'm loving these finds. Uh, oh, that is neat. Look at that. It's cut. They, it's like a, have you ever seen that before? It has a punch. And the page, is it glued? It's glued. And then it has this punch. <laughs> hmm. Isn't that bizarre? So you can't see the first page. It's like glued together. Oh, this is glued in here too. Oh, wow. Okay. This page, this book has had some repairs. It, it, you can clearly feel some of the pages. And these are just stuck on here like glue sticked. Oh, this is, an, this is interesting. I didn't know what this is now. The Strode family. The Oh, the roast beef of Old England National Library plate five. Oh, so it's about the art compound. Okay. Okay. So I must have stumbled across somebody who just donated a bunch of stuff that they had about England because it, I have, a, I, I guess this makes two. I think there's another one. The rate process. Anyway, this is a really neat book. The pages are real thick and um, definitely inter interesting. Uh huh. These must be works of art, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So this is in the So Soan Museum. Soon Museum. What is this? This little boy is peeing on the monkey, and then she's passed out. What is that? The election. Chairing the member. That's wow. That's excellent. The shrimp girl. This is in the National Gallery. Oh, this is kind of cool. I, I know. I have so many, too. But I can't help myself. Oh, this one's missing one. I don't have this picture. Oh, well. Um, but that's neat. Okay. The, tw the, toilet, the toilet of the countess. And then Hogarth's servants. Those, those two pictures are missing. Anyway, that's kind of neat. I like that. I didn't realize that what that was. And then I found this one too because I like folk art and I thought this one had neat images that I could use with um with making the journals and things or look how pretty those are. And in the collages is what I was thinking. And it's got the different types of folk art authors as well. Those are neat. Mm. Classroom views. Kind of cool. I don't know. You know, it's kind of like you got a little bit of history in here. Oh, look at that. He was a sailor. Cut work, calligraphy, pin pricking, and paint. And it commemorates the loss of them of an American ship. Hmm. I remember doing that with metal. My first ornaments I made in college for my tree were made out of a screwdriver, a hammer, and a couple cookie sheets. <laughs> and I cut them out and banged little designs in them and scraped little designs in them. And they hung on my tree. Look at those. Aren't those neat? Hey, Kel, how are you? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, these are kind of cool. That's a tapestry. Adam and Eve and folk art. Anyway, I thought this one, that's a table, tapestry, or table rugs. I thought this book was kind of cool. So it came home with me. 
And then, okay. I don't know where the other two, where did those, oh, here they are. Okay, so if, if you know me, which you're not sure you do, you, you know me yet, but you will soon. Let's, I have, not only do I like vintage board games, but I also love studying um, human behavior and generational studies. Uh oh, there's a piece from that game. Let's set that here. Where does this one go? Oh, yeah, I'll have to get that one back in there. Okay, so I got lucky. And today I actually found uh, one of the books I was looking for and a companion piece. These are those two. This one's written in 1970, Future Shock. It's talking about the exactly what's going on back in 1970, what to expect in 2000, along with the politics of the third wave, creating a new civilization with a forward by Newt Gingrich. And this is also talking about that same exact business generational patterns that play out in human behavior and how they use those things to control us all. <laughs> so those are really awesome. And then on top of that, I found this, which is a coming of age book because this 2000 marked a transitional coming of age for humanity. So at that moment, all the generations were moving into their next position. So I was becoming a young adult and the next kids were becoming adolescents, the millennials and the boomers were moving into their mid, um, their midlife um, right here. So this is a whole, this is like a caption, like a screenshot of the world that year. And I thought that this was super cool to find for a book, right? So, I mean, it's got Martha Stewart, it's got Microsoft in there, and, um, you know, all the different things that were going out, Reno, school shootings, the White House marathon, the whole thing, and this is going to be super awesome in my conspiracy journal. And look at this. This is just, this is 99, but that's pretty close to what we looked like, you know, early 90s. That wasn't too far from that. Look, it's talking about from your mouse to your home. That This is the beginnings of what we have today where we're just, um, you know, scanning ourselves. Jeff Bezos has a dream. Uh, anyway, that is super cool. Okay. And then, okay, you know what's funny? I've heard someone speak when I see them in chats and we chat. I can hear their voice. <laughs> I'm the exact same way, Marty. When I was a little girl, the libraries and the bookstores, they used to have a lot of like book readings and book signings and they were free. And so would like to go and listen to the people, the authors read their books. And then when I'd go home and read it, I'd be reading it and like the person's voice. And so I thought that was neat to do. Hey, Kim, did I miss anything else? Oh, awesome. Kelly's taking a night off. Okay. All right. Then I got a Seinfeld, which is also a very Gen X book, but it's one of my favorite shows. So Seinfeld's right up there. So I found that. That was only 50 cents. Sorry. And then I found this. This is super awesome. So it's a writer's reference. I can put it next to my other reference books. And it's got, you know, um, grammatical sentences, your, you know, uh, punctuation. And so it's a quick guide for when you're writing your stuff. So that's, that's a score there. Again, 50 cents because it's a soft <laughs> Um, This was another one I got, um, The Future of Us. This is 13 Reasons Why. By the way, Gen X is the 13th generation. So this is a, 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 a 1996 and half of the high school students have, uh, have ever used the, and less than half had ever used the internet. And so this is also a generational book. This, this is one that, um, that was on my list to get that I wanted as well. So I'm excited to, I think these, obviously a chunk of these belong to one person. I usually find it that way. And then this one is super neat. Kate Greenway's book of games. And, um, it has 
I like that from the library of 1983 because the little thing there says 1983 on their library. That's just pasted in. I loved those things. A little Alice in Wonderland pasted. Um, and so it's got, you know, Book of Games and it's got beautiful illustrations along with the a very old game. Uh, so some of you may recognize some of these. I love you with, I love my love with an A. That's a game. And then there was follow my leader ball, right? Shadow buff, this and that, buzz, family coach. Touch wood, Mary's gone a milking. <laughs> Blowing out the candle. Mary's gone a milking. Sleep in the washing tub. What am I to wash it in? Washing the teacup. A teacup won't hold your father's shoe, suit, shirt, sorry. Washing a thimble. A thimble won't hold a baby's cap. I. They say this and the mother rushes after the children. She has to catch one. So it's kind of fun. Look at that. Soap bubbles. Anyway, I thought this one was really neat too. My mom was like, oh, I want that. I did end up giving her one. That uh, another one. I said, no, you can't have this one. This one's for me. But then she had a book that I wanted. So the good thing is, is that we can share. <laughs> so that's pretty. I liked that book. I liked the, the cover too. I thought it was pretty. All right. I'm uh, pink and green. You like my nails? They, I have dirty. My, my fingers are always dirty because I'm always in something. So... I found this. I think these things are neat. Okay. And as somebody who has a husband that races cars, I especially like these kinds of things. But this is the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations Pocketbook. This would have been something that um, the, uh, the Department of Transportation police officers and things probably would have had in their glove box or in their car. I think maybe not. I have to read through it. But this is from 2003, so it's not very old, but it will be. And I think these kind of little, these don't make it. These get thrown away. Um, that's one thing I can tell you, trying to find an owner's manual for a certain car, or certain this or certain that becomes impossible. And I thought this was something because it is just a regulations book, it get tossed. So I actually thought this was kind of neat because it would not be something people would buy. So it would never make it very far. And I thought that was cool. It just tells you, you know, the common carriers, cargo insurance, exempt commodities, no common carrier by motor vehicle subject to subtitle this, blah, 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 blah. Nor any foreign Mexican common carrier of exempt commodity, com com whatever shall engage in interstate or foreign commerce, nor shall, I don't know. And look all the list of the things. Cylinders, charcoal, chemical fertilizer, coal, coke, corn cobs, cotton seeds, hulls, crushed stone, drilled salt, dry fertilizer, fish scrap, fly ash. What are some of these things? <laughs> oh man. Mud drilling salt, meat scraps, manure, lumber. Lime and limestone. <laughs> How neat is that? I don't know. I find these kinds of things neat. They're just interesting. Volcanic something you can't carry without the proper paperwork. <laughs> Wood chips that are not processed. Proper paperwork for you. Wooden pallets unassembled. Proper paperwork. <laughs> Passengers. I don't know. If you guys all think this, these are stupid, I will totally be okay with that. But I think they're kind of neat. So look at that for the truck. <laughs> Exhaust systems. Okay. I'm spending too much time looking at that. Okay. And then um, this one was Suicide of the West. And it was basically like a historical um, books, not old or anything, but it was the book about the wild west. And I thought that sounded kind of interesting. Um, more of a, you know, how the wild west fell apart, you know, so that sounds like an interesting thing. Science experiments you can eat. 
a scholastic book. I thought that might be kind of fun to do with Boo. And then I found a travel guide, a student travel guide even for Europe 2014. Let's go. And I thought this would be kind of neat to use in, um, in scrapbooking. The pages are kind of more like a Bible type, you know, page. A little bit thicker than a phone book, but, you know, kind of like a Bible. So I thought these would be neat to use in scrapbook pages. Um, so I got that. Okay. And then I only a couple more and then I'll leave you guys alone. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> Because I think these are things are fun. I was going to do this. I might as well share it. Um, do, I enjoy when you guys do these. Um, it was the night before Christmas. Um, these were actually on a table for like, I think they might have been free or whatever. Anyway, gave me all the books and one huge stack. He goes, this amount. So um, this one, it's not old, but I thought the pictures were neat. And if I did Christmas stuff, I thought the, you know, that's what I was thinking of, you know, using these images and stuff in a Christmas, you know, in Christmas stuff, whatever, whenever I, you know, next Christmas. And so I, I thought that would be, cause again, like it was free anyway. And then this one is an, a photograph one cats in the sun. And it had the little paw print there. It had just photographs of cats. Just the facts, ma'am. <laughs> I would read them all. Okay, good. <laughs> Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Yeah, this one had just interesting cat pictures. And so, again, I thought of, you know, collaging with these. I thought these were kind of fun you know, to use in collages. So that was a neat book. Lots, every page is a kitty picture. So you get lots of kitties. So Kelly or, you know, my boo will love that. And then this was another one I thought was kind of cool. Alabama architecture, a photo book. Um, it's dusty, 40 bucks. Good gracious. Who would spend that for a book showing them houses in Alabama, but nonetheless, Again, I was thinking journaling or, a, a, you know, collaging with these images here. Um, it's a coffee table book, but it has neat entryways. And, I've, you know, when I watch people doing those collages, this is what I see is, you know, hey, something like this makes an awesome background. <laughs> so that's kind of what I had in mind when I saw this one you know, windows. And I mean, you know, there's nothing in here. I can totally design this little room here with things. Oh, that's kind of pretty. So I got that one. And then the last book I got, no, yeah, is Great Homes of England. Another England book. I knew there were three of them. And it was, you know, exactly that again, huge pictures of castles and you know villages and i mean look at that Jeez, so <laughs> oh my goodness what who would live there i would be afraid to even you know pass gas in that room i would be afraid of doing anything in a room like that could you imagine like what Dee, Dee does that's it pam Yes, that's what I was thinking. These pictures just, uh, it's a, its a, like a canvas already. Look. Oh, oh, my goodness. You know, anyway. Oh, oh, look at here. A surprise. I love surprises. Oh, oh, my. A King's Feast, Kensington Palace, State Apartments, and Court Dress Collection. The 5th of June um, t through the 29th of September, 1991. Oh, look, look at, oh, oh my key to the King's table. I have found a treasure map. Woo! <laughs> Place setting for Lord High Steward and the Prince Frederick, Count Johann Bernstoff. 
Oh, that is fun. On the sideboard is perhaps the largest example of hollow ever made in Denmark. <laughs> Known as the Neptune Fountain, it contained wine for the meal and was made by Jens Olsen Frizzlebla <laughs> with a basin by, oh my, that was a fun thing. So this was somewhere in Denmark, it says. The florist, look, Eric Burring, florist purveyor to HM, the Queen of Denmark. Hmm. Fun. Contemporary Danish silverware. Oh, that's neat. So these plus people must have liked to travel to Europe, I'm guessing. So that's it. I don't think I'll have anything else. And I've already shared all my other junk. So I'm going to go and watch. Oh, no, no, no. I did have more. Hang on. I left this. I forgot the best two I saved in this other box for last. And now we are here. Oh, my gosh, you're not even going to believe what I have found. Okay. There's three of them. I'm going to show you the, 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 the bad news first and then the good news. Okay, so I found two yearbooks from 1962 and 1963 from the same high school. And excitement. Yes. Thank you. Look at this yearbook. Ouch, I swear the end of my nose just went up. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read it and not talk like that. Like you're an aristocrat, crap, can you, Marty? You have to do it. You just totally do. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this yearbook I found. Look at the pictures. <laughs> So I know you probably have some glare going on. Um, so you're you're probably not going to be able to see it very well. No, that didn't help at all. Okay. Um, anyway, this, I don't know these people. So I have no problems taking this apart. But with, are these not rad? So like the napkins. Look at this. These guys have hats on. What is this? Oh, there. Oh, look, Raymond Lansford, electrical engineering. Look at him. He's, he's got it going on there. Architecture. What is this? Oh, nice thick pages too. Is this must be a college yearbook. Is this a college yearbook? Published for the, yes, it is. Arlington State College, Arlington, Texas. Okay, I'm coming. That's my last one. Oh, that's neat. St. Elmo's Star. That, those are neat pictures. What do you guys think? Was that a score? Are these neat? All right, I got one and two. This is another one. I thought these were kind of cool. So I thought these would be neat for journals. I would have to walk through with my hands glued, afraid to breathe right in that house. I know. Okay. And the last book and the most exciting thing that I found because I have Charlie, Charlie, I found a Charlie Chaplin, the films of Charlie Chaplin book. And um, I had gotten a uh, one, a Charlie Chaplin button, and somebody else got my button and didn't say. And so I lost my Charlie Chaplin button to some strange, some other strange person who got my package instead. Um, anyway, this is cool. So this one, let's see. I don't know what year it is. I didn't bother to look here. So that's it. That's my last book. Uh, I don't see a year on it because it's one of those. It's probably in here somewhere. For permissions from the poems. So those are. Yeah. So I thought this was neat. Check that out. That is just, you know, something that I like <laughs> the films of. So this is really neat. That'll be fun to look through. Anyway, all right, everybody, I'm going to 
go now. Thanks for hanging out with me. And um, right? Yep. That's it. You guys have a good night. Um, I might see you later. If I don't fall asleep, I might be up crafting. So if anybody's hanging out, maybe I can find you. <laughs> have a good night and I'll see everybody soon. Bye-bye.